So the first type of profit maximizer that I want to discuss is the immediate upsell. This is what most people think of when they think about uh, when I start explaining profit maximizers and kind of the prototypical immediate upsell is you want fries with that, right? You go to McDonald's, you get a hamburger and you want fries. Do you want a drink? And, and it really does sum up what an upsell is, right? Because at the end of the day, upsells, upsells are offering someone some more of what they already bought. All right, something more of what they already bought, something that complements the, the previous purchase. And that's why when upsells are done properly, people don't get upset, right? When you, when you go and buy a hamburger from McDonald's and they offer you fries, you know, like, where did this come from? Where did this idea of fries ever enter into your equation? Why would I want that, right? If we understand that if somebody goes to McDonald's, they're not going to McDonald's for health food, right? They're going to McDonald's because they want something quick, because they want something predictable and because they want something that tastes good. All right, quick, predictable, tastes good. That's what you're buying when you go to McDonald's. So when you go there and you get a cheeseburger, that's quick, predictable, and it tastes good. Fries, quick, predictable, tastes good. Coke, quick, predictable, tastes good. All upsells that still lead to the same desired end result. I want something that is quick, that is predictable, and that tastes good. That's all I want. I'm not interested in health food. I'm not interested in, in any of that stuff. I just want something quick, predictable, and that tastes good. So to that end, fries at McDonald's, they bolt on, they, they, they supplement, they augment the desired end result that the buyer of the hamburger wants. That's what makes an upsell an upsell. That's what frankly distinguishes it from a cross sell, which is what we're going to talk about next. So it's the same desired end result. That's what's critical related to an upsell. Now, here's an example from, uh, from a company that we were working with, Cleveland Equipments. They uh, sell small manufacturing equipment, primarily e-commerce players. They do uh, some, some wholesaling and stuff like that. But um, one of their top sellers is this um, extra large impulse sealer. It's basically a heat sealer. So not basically, it is a heat sealer. But if you have packaging and you want to seal the top of it, put it in there, lower that bar down, and seals it up for you. Pretty simple, uh, pretty simple product. Now, the thing about this particular heat sealer is that uh, it, it's a simple device. The only thing that burns out in it uh, is the heating element. So if you think about a light bulb, right? You turn on a light bulb and the heating element, at least a normal incandescent bulb, the heating element heats up and that's what causes the light. You turn a light bulb on and off and on and off. It heats, it cools, it heats, it cools. Eventually it breaks. Well, the heating element in this is the same. Turn it on, turn it off, eventually it is going to break. Well, these were breaking a little bit faster than, than we wanted them to break. So we reached out uh, to the factory where we were buying these from. We said, look, you got to fix this. You got to take care of it in some way. So they said, no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to send you a set uh, of two extra heating elements in with all these. So we'll just we'll just go ahead and, and send those out to you. So that was when we had the idea. Okay, we have these heating elements that, that they're just giving to us, right? We have two additional heating elements that they're that the factory is basically giving us for free. And these two elements, um, each one of them are going to extend the life of this now 200%, right? You've got the original heating element and then two more, you just add added 200% to the life of this particular um, product. So if this sells right now for $250, well, surely we could upsell the additional heating elements for $60. And that is exactly what we did. So we added as an upsell on the page here, replacement element kit um, includes two elements and two sets of covers for $60. Now, check this out. The cost of acquisition. For after cost of acquisition and after um, the, the, the import cost of this particular item, even though it cost $250, the profit margin on this item was around, um, you know, it, it was around 30, 60, you know, 30, 40, $50. It was kind of in that range. It depended. It was getting lower. It was getting to the point where it was, you know, around $30 and, and, and they were getting a, a bit concerned. So, when we had it about thirty dollars, so you're making thirty dollars on a, uh, you know, on a, on a two hundred fifty dollar item. It's not, you know, all that, you know, all that exciting. But when we added this optional heating element, fifty percent, fifty percent of the people who purchased the impulse sealer also bought 
uh, the additional replacement heating element. So 50% at $60, that meant that that added an extra $30 of profit to this purchase. $30. So just through the addition of that one immediate upsell, we, we were able to double the profit. We were able to double the margin on this one item. And that was just one example. So that's the power of an immediate upsell. Now the reason that it works is that the cost of acquisition has already been incurred. And that was the single greatest cost in this. Pay-per-click traffic was going up. That's why the, the margins were going from $100 down to $75, down to $50, down to $40, down to $30 right? It wasn't because really the cost of this item was going up that much more. I mean, that happened to an extent. It was primarily because the cost of traffic, the cost of acquisition was going up. And it's the cost of acquisition that hurts more businesses and, and puts more businesses, frankly, out of business than just about anything else. So that's why this was such a critical addition here and why uh, an immediate upsell can be such a critical addition to your business. So think, what are the additional heating elements that you could be offering uh, in your market? What are some things that when somebody buys your core offer, what would be another great immediate upsell that you can make? We've got some ideas and some additional things that I want you to consider in some uh, future lessons. But for now, just think, what comes to mind? Give it some minutes and, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.